Welcome to Unit 3. We're going to practice uploading some pictures from Picasa directly to your web album. This is fairly straightforward. Uh, as usual, it starts with the tray. So you want to take pictures, and I have some pictures of some uh, yellow flowers and some snowdrops. And I clicked on this first one here and put it in the tray. So I'm just going to pin a few pictures that I like here of these flowers and uh, some other pictures of uh, just various flowers on branches and so on. Here's one that I edited. There's a snowdrop right up close. Uh, so I put five or six pictures in the tray. Uh, once, the, once the pictures are in the tray, and uh, it's up to you if you want to pin them or not, but because I was clicking on one at a time, I wanted to pin them there so I didn't lose them. Uh, you'll see a button, a green button at the bottom that says share. Now, mine says share on Google+. Uh, when I click on this, and similar to if you click on share, it's going to ask you for your Gmail address. So your Gmail account, uh, your Gmail username, and your Gmail uh, password are your key to accessing your online storage. When you uh, share, you're actually uploading pictures to an online storage location uh, that's called Picasa Web Albums. Now Google has come out with this new feature called Google Plus, which is kind of their competition to Facebook, but I'll get into that later. Uh, when, you, when you first upload an album, it kind of figures out which album you may have recently done. Now I just actually recently did a an album called Snowdrops, but I'll just give this one a new name. So I'll just call this one uh, five, uh, sorry, six pictures of flowers. Uh, you also want to choose uh, options. This is um, going to compress your pictures if you choose best for web sharing, uh, or you can keep the original size. So it depends on your purpose. If your purpose is to send this to someone or share this with someone for printing in a, in a large format, then you want to choose original size. If not, choose best for sharing, which allows you to upload a lot more photos, and they'll be compressed at a smaller size. Now, if you're not a member of Google+, you'll see other options here, including compressed to 1,600 pixels or 1,200, 800 pixels. I would recommend going as high as you can, 1,600 pixels. Uh, we'll maintain a larger file size, uh, and you won't lose uh, some of the some of the quality, perhaps. Uh, and that's it. Once you've chosen which size you want, you just click on uh, upload, and it's going to happen pretty quickly. I only have six photos. Uh, if you had a lot more photos, it would take a lot longer. Um, but as it kind of zips through this process, you'll see it uh, a, a meter filling up with color. When it gets to the end, it's uploaded pictures. You'll also see a button appear over here on the right next to the cancel button uh, that's going to ask if I want to view this online. Go check out my online web space. So just waiting for this bar to fill up. It's almost there. Done. So I'm going to click view online. This launches a, my web browser and will take me to my web album. Now, how this appears may be a little different from how you see it. I think because I'm a member of Google+, Plus, it's going to take me to Google+. Plus. It's actually asking me to sign in again. So I'll do that. And here's my six pictures of flowers that have been uploaded to my web album. It might give me, it used to give me the option to view this another way. But let me just go check. I'm going to go see my other albums. <clears throat> Here's my six pictures of flowers here. No, they have a, okay, well, I guess that's it. We've just uploaded pictures to your online web space. Follow this up with another video on what to do from there. Thanks.